It's time for watch list winners. This week is Oracle. And before we let Paul launch, let's just say a quick hello to There's the man. Hey, hello to MacBook Pro. Pro. Just say hello to How MacBook Pro. How are you, Mac? Hey, I'm good. <laughs> hey, Paul. Hey, Brent. Hey, Nicole. Call me Mac. Call me Mac. It said uh, name the cam. It said name the camera. <laughs> I have lots of cameras. Uh, wow. This is, a, this is definitely a first for us. Uh, this, is we need, this is what we need LinkedIn user back to talk to Michael. <laughs> So, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so we just wanted to say a quick hello before Paul launched, and then we will bring you back after the launch is done. Okay. That'll well, you'll be come back and you'll have time to fix. Oh, there he goes, Mr. Oracle. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> LE right. might have something to say about that, but that's all right. All right. So we're right. gonna we're gonna give Paul the stage and then we will all rejoin him after he's done. So Mr. G. Here you all are. right, so Oracle, watch list winner and winner of the largest submission in the history of, of the watch list, 213 pages printed. Okay, so uh, now I will tell you this. Last year, uh, Oracle, when they submitted, actually submitted the single best submission in the history of the watch list. This year, the largest submission in the history of the watch list. But the thing that Oracle does, and the thing that Oracle has become very good at, is two or three things that have tr actually transformed the company and have impacted the market in ways that were, let's call it maybe three years ago, uh, unforeseen. Look, one thing we've always known about Oracle uh, when it comes to CRM or CX over its history is you're going to get very well-engineered products. And when you look at Oracle CX now, you're not only getting well-engineered products, but you're getting products that are well aligned to the market's requirements and needs. So for example, um, one of the products, uh, this was more of, a, this was an acquisition uh, that I thought was a brilliant acquisition that has gotten only a small amount of PR, uh, publicity, but deserves a lot more. They, they acquired a company called CrowdTwist and CrowdTwist does loyalty. And you think, well, you know, Oracle had acquired Siebel Loyalty, which has historically been kind of the market paradigm. But uh, but that's at this point out there. But the thing that made CrowdTwist unique and interesting when it comes to loyalty, it's not transactionally based. It's based on interactions and behavior and of which transactions are seen as a, a part of. It's a very different kind of loyalty, but, but that is absolutely aligned to the market as it is, especially when you're dealing with people who are in, who are influencers, the networking effect, uh, all of the, um, all of the, uh, other things that you would see day to day that people are doing that support a brand and that proves their loyalty without them ever buying a thing necessarily, right? Oracle actually now has the technology and capability fully integrated into, uh, a part of the CX platform to actually uh, measure, find, measure, and reward that that behavior. That's so th that, and that's just an example. Again, we have a short period of time, so we can't cover it all. The other thing that Oracle has done since, and this is mostly since Rob Tarkov took over CX, um, is has become very strategic in their partnering efforts. Steve Fioretti, who's a longtime Oracle veteran, a uh, good friend of all of us. Um, Steve actually runs Global Partnerships now, and uh, he's handling um, strategic partners. But, but the thing that makes it interesting isn't the partners per se. It's that Oracle, and again, five, four years ago, you couldn't say this. Oracle is now thinking thoroughly in terms of ecosystems and platforms and actually has moved from four years ago with probably the laggard to one of the most advanced thinkers in the ecosystem and platforms area. CX is a platform and it's a very clear platform as opposed to a set of solutions or a stack, right? All the thinking that people like Des, who, you know, is chief evangelist and about 20 other things inside <laughs> of Oracle CX are always thinking about is from the standpoint of ecosystems. And, and if you look at the, the roadmaps on the products, you look at the partnerships that they're, um, pulling in, you look at the treatment of the partners as, as go to market and, and strategic, you realize that Oracle is basically landed on their feet full speed and is beginning to move really fast in this race toward 
take, becoming a uh, really, really important, well, they already are a really important player in the world of uh, CX, CRM, and CE. The other thing that I think is really, uh, really b- important, and while this is a work in progress, has accelerated the transformation is Oracle's culture. Now, that might sound crazy because that was not what they were ever even thought about for or known for whatsoever, except probably actually more negatively than positively. But now you're talking about a culture that is undergone such a fundamental transformation is so powerfully uh, infused into the, both into the CX group, but into the company as a whole now, that it's it's actually given Oracle a, a strong foundational way of sustaining impact over years and years to come. Part of that goes through uh, Redstone, which is, hello, uh, uh, well, it's it's the let's say this, it's the product of the Oracle design teams, but it's also what makes it more important isn't Redstone as a UI UX, make it easier to navigate, make it more pretty to look at uh, kind of approach. It's way more than that. It's fully infused into the culture to make Oracle look, feel, and act in a way that's not only contemporary but is human and empathetic, right? And and the empathy is real, and the culture is actually sustaining support for empathy. Part of that comes because Oracle now will tell customers, look, yeah, we might want to sell you that, but you don't actually need that, right? Th- and th- again, there's not only, there's tons of anecdotal proof. No, I actually remembered, Kim. Thank you. But I went, I went to a different place. Um, but uh, there's tons of of, of anecdotal evidence to show that Oracle salespeople are communicating with customers. I've actually run across several of these where the customer is told, look, much as I'd like to sell you that, cause it'll help my commissions. And I'm you know, obviously exaggerating slightly in the dialogue dialogue here. Uh, you don't need it. You really don't. So don't do it. And again, it's an empathetic culture that's beginning to evolve from Oracle. And then finally, look, I mean, part, part of what, wins the watch list and and proves sustainability of impact is the management team they uh, look rob tarkov des steve they get it right they get it not only they get it they know they not only get it but they also know how to hire the people who get it and then they give those people the leeway to actually do the work that they have to do you know, and they get they get the freedom and independence to do it. All of these things that that's where the idea of sustainable impact over years comes from. Because again, the watch list criteria are very simple. And then I'll close with this: one, show me the impact you had in the year that you submitted. Two, show me how you're going to sustain that for the next three or four years. It's three years to be exact. And then and then I'm going to do everything in my power to prove you wrong that you can't do it. So, reality. Um, is Oracle not only deserved to win, and I, I, this may be a little disappointing, but Oracle missed the with distinction by a tenth of a point. Ouch! Yeah, that's what I meant. I, I thought that might be a little sad, but well, <laughs> I figured well, I well, with uh, oh. that ouch, I guess we could hey, bring we everybody back. I thought the free T-shirt counted for like a half a point, but <laughs> so that wasn't enough. Well, you would have missed by. Uh, you would have missed by a half a point, 